Welcome to the first ever Music Business Monday. So in this video, we're talking about ASCAP versus BMI. So we're going to discuss what a PRO is. We're going to discuss all the different PROs out there because there's more than just ASCAP and BMI. Then I'm going to let you know why you actually need a PRO. And then we're going to discuss the similarities and differences between ASCAP and BMI. And then, of course, at the end, I'm going to let you know which one is better and which one I think you should choose. OK, so if you guys want to learn all about ASCAP and BMI, stick around after this introduction. What's going on, everybody? I'm Dan Spencer, and I am the Audio Sorcerer. So this is the channel where I teach you how to perfect your audio recording, mixing, and mastering skills, and also everything about music business. So before we get to the video, make sure you guys smash that like button. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell to know when I have new videos coming out. So before we actually get into this video, I want to mention I made this cool little PowerPoint here. And I used a cloud-based software called Canva. And that's what I used to create all of my YouTube thumbnails, all of my web graphics, and all of my video graphics. So if you guys like what you see, I have a link in the description below to where you can go sign up for your free account. All right? So without further ado, today we are talking about ASCAP versus BMI. So the first question that needs to be answered in this ASCAP versus BMI video is, what is a PRO? So a PRO is a performing rights organization. And a PRO is an agency that guarantees songwriters and publishers are paid for the use of their music by collecting royalties on behalf of them, all right? So basically, they collect the royalties for the songwriters and publishers. So when we're talking about royalties, we're talking about public performance royalties. And this is when a song is played in public, of course. This could be on any type of radio format, in a venue, TV shows, and commercials. These companies must pay to use a songwriter's music. The PRO then collects those payments and distributes them to whoever has the rights to the music. All right. So that's how the royalties work when it comes to a PRO. So who are the PROs? Well, we have ASCAP, which stands for American Society of Composers, Authors and Publishers. We have BMI, which stands for Broadcast Music Inc. We have CSAC, which stands for the Society of European Stage Authors and Composers. And we have SOCAM, which stands for the Society of Composers, Authors, and Music Publishers of Canada. So those are all of the main PROs. So we also have Sound Exchange, which is not technically a PRO, but you should definitely sign up for them because they collect royalties for music played on digital platforms such as Internet Radio, XM Radio, and Pandora. And to sign up for an account with them, it's absolutely free. So definitely check them out after this video if you don't have an account yet. So why do you need a PRO? Well, that could be answered simply with, do you want to be paid for your music? And if you want to be paid for what we talked about earlier, then yes, you should definitely sign up for a PRO because otherwise those royalties are just going to go disappear up into the cloud and nobody's going to get them. All right. So definitely... After this video, if you don't belong to a PRO, definitely go and sign up for one. All right, so now it's time for the moments you've been waiting for, our ASCAP versus BMI comparison. All right, so let's first talk about ASCAP. And before we get into the categories here, I do want to mention that ASCAP is smaller than BMI. And that may or may not matter to you, but I just want to mention it. All right, so starting with fee here. ASCAP has a one-time fee of $50 when you first sign up, and then after that, you're good to go for the life of your membership. Then we have payments. So ASCAP will pay you out quarterly 88% of what they bring in of your royalties. So they will keep 12%. For a registration, you can actually go onto their website and you can register your own works, okay? It's a pretty simple process. You just go on there and register them. For their board, so this is their board of directors, this is actually voted upon by all the ASCAP members and the board is actually ASCAP members. So that's pretty cool. And I think that has a lot to do with the fact that they are a little bit of a smaller organization than BMI. And we'll talk more about BMI's board later on. In the bottom left down here, we have outreach. So for this, they have workshops, they have showcases, they have scholarships and they have grants. So they offer a lot. And then for affiliations, they have instrument, insurance, therapy, and hotel companies, along with several other industries involved with them, okay? So they're going to offer you all kinds of discounts when you sign up with them, all right? So those are the main things that ASCAP has to offer. And I also want to mention that they offer a uh, live portion to their company. So 
when you actually perform out like if you're in a band, you can actually register your performance on there and get paid for when you played out at a venue, okay? So that's a separate thing on their website, but it's at no cost to you. It's just part of being a member, all right? So let's next talk about BMI. All right, so for BMI, as mentioned earlier, they are much bigger than ASCAP. They are the biggest PRO in the United States. And for their fees, they are absolutely free. You do not have to pay a cent, and that is good for the lifetime of your membership, all right? And for payments, they will pay you out quarterly 88%, just like ASCAP, and they'll keep 12%. And their registration process is exactly the same as ASCAP. You register on their website. Now, their board is a little bit different. It is not voted on by BMI members. It's a little bit different because they're a bigger company. Uh, their board, I'm not quite sure how it's voted on, but I can tell you I'm personally a BMI member, and uh, I do not get to vote on the board. All right. And for outreach, again, it's almost the same as ASCAP. They have workshops, showcases, scholarships, and grants. Now, their affiliations are a little bit more high profile. They have affiliations with Billboard, award shows, conferences, festivals, and they have discounts on musician services such as Artist Share and FanBridge, all right? So they're going to offer you a lot more in that category. So that is BMI in a nutshell. So the question is, which of these two is better and which of them should you go with, all right? We talked about them here category-wise. You can see they're pretty much the same short of a few things. So my answer to you on which one I think the best is and which you should go with is BMI. So yes, I like BMI better. And I used to be an ASCAP member, but then I switched to BMI. And you know, if you're gonna pay $50 for something that you can get for free and they're basically the same, I don't understand the point of it. So, you know, you should definitely go with BMI. And BMI definitely has better affiliations than ASCAP, and that is a huge benefit for sure, all right? So what I thought would be kind of cool is if you guys are watching this and you don't have a PRO yet, and you're interested in signing up for BMI, I thought I would sign into my user account on the BMI website and kind of show you around so you can get an idea of what you'll be looking at, all right? So let's do that now. All right, so I'm logged into my BMI web portal here, and this is what it looks like when you first log in. So the cool thing is it's got a video here on how to register your works. So if you're new to BMI, you're probably not going to know how to do it right off the bat. So you got a video right here to show you how to do it. Now, it's also cool that they have a mobile app, so you can check stuff there too. So your main section here is under applications. You have BMI Live. So this is similar to what I mentioned earlier for ASCAP. So if you perform out a live venue and you play any of the songs that you have registered under your BMI account, you can actually get paid for that, all right? The venue is responsible for paying royalties to that. So that's pretty cool, okay? Underneath that, you got your works registration, your works catalog. You could check your royalty statements. Again, these come out quarterly. And then you can do your change of address, user management. You can look at your agreement. You could set up direct deposit. So this is what I have set up. So that's great because I you know, don't really want them mailing me checks because that's kind of annoying. So it's kind of cool when you you know, see just a deposit show up in your account out of nowhere because you kind of forget about it. So that's kind of a good feeling. And then you also have your tax documents and then you can modify your user profile. All right. So very basic stuff and everything you could possibly need is right there. And then you have some stuff under royalty distribution, like distribution letters, royalty information, and then BMI admin service facts, okay? In case you wanna know more about BMI, you can check out that section. And then as mentioned earlier, when you sign up for BMI, you get some benefits and discounts. If you click on this section here, you'll get to see everything that they offer you, all right? So that is pretty much everything that exists in the BMI web portal under your own user account. Okay, so that's all there is to BMI. So I hope you guys like this ASCAP versus BMI video here on my Music Business Monday series. And if you did, give my video a thumbs up. And if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to know how many videos coming out. So with that being said, until the next video, I will see you guys later and peace out.